monster mask. It was a ray dot mask. Video power. Okay, now check this out. Today we'll take a serious look at Maniac Mansion. Where Sandy, you know that cheerleader babe, has been kidnapped and is being held hostage against her will, man. But that's not all. There's a preview of Crystallis, a really cool heavy shredding video, no, a review, and a surprise video power edge. Let's start by seeing what we can do for Sandy. Maybe get her back home in time for the big game. Let's do a video power review. In Maniac Mansion, you play the part of Dave. He's the hero guy. You can pick two other kids to help you out, but choose wisely because each kid has special skills. There are over 30 rooms in the mansion, not to mention concealed back rooms. So remember to get your pencil and paper out. The key to the game is to create maps. You've got to get in every room, and that's not easy. Once you get inside, make sure you remember everything about each and every room. Let's take a look at some of the rooms in this dump. The kitchen, the dark room, the observatory. Hey, there's even an arcade room. How bad can this place be? Well, enough of this. Let's talk about the gameplay. Maniac Mansion has something I've never seen before. Cut screens. There you are, minding your own business. <laughs> And then we'll see you end up someplace totally different. These cut screens are important, though, because you can pick up information in them. Like who are the Meteor Police and what's under the house. <laughs> Get ready for a video power review. Whoa, good news for all you shredheads. Winter snowstorms are just a couple of months away, and there's, like, a new snowboarding video game out. Well, it's, like, called Heavy Shredding, and it's for the NES. You can compete in slalom, downhill, half-pipe, mogul, and backwood events. The object is simple, just, like, don't wipe out, because then you, like, rip away the World Championship Cup, right? So this game is, like, so authentic, it's been endorsed by International Snowboard Magazine. Like, <laughs> it's, like, I'm available now. Now, you know, like the graphic feature, multi-dimensional scrolling, which like means you get to like move around like every direction and like so cool, cause like you know 3D effects. So like come on buddy, like snowboarding's big all over the country. But if you've been like afraid to try it because you're worried about doing a full face plant in the powder, oh, oh, oh. Give heavy shredding a try, cause it's like safer, buds. Let's move from the slopes to the streets to get the video power edge. Narc for the NES. It's a tough game, just like the arcade hit, but I'll make it easier for you. When you're in the quack factory, you've got to beware of Dr. Spike Rush and his team of punk criminals. They'll come at you from both sides, but if you stay all the way over on the left, you can bust a lot of them as they're coming in. And to avoid bullets shot at you from the right, move up and down repeatedly. Another thing is to remember that you get a thousand points for every bust you make. And when you get 99 busts, you get five extra lives. So don't be too trigger happy. Make a bust wherever it's possible. Okay, that should help you to get the edge. The video power edge. There's one more thing I want to tell you. Remember to copy down the address we'll give you at the end of the show for the video power bulletin board. I'd really like to hear from you with some tips or ideas or whatever you want to send us. Video power, P.O. Box 896, Madison Square Station, New York, New York, 10159. Game over.